back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this mauve lilac -y makeup look is what I think I'm going to call it. I want to do something totally different, but uh, I don't know what happened, honestly. Things just, this is what came out sometimes. You sit down, you have this inspiration in mind, and then somewhere along the way, plans change. And I love how it came out. I love all the tones tied together. This lip really tied everything together. It's my first time wearing this color in particular, and it's totally out of my comfort zone. But I love the gray mauve undertone that it has. So if you guys are interested on how to get this makeup look, then keep on watching. The first thing I'm going to do is go into the Violet Voss Pro Matte About You palette. And I think I'm going to take the shade Smitten. So I'm going to go into that shade first with my Smith 235 brush. And I've already applied a base and set the base on my lid. So I'm just tilting my head back and we're going to go in and create the shade first. So I'm just lightly mapping out the shape that we're going to have over here. And this is going to be our transition shade. I'm going to bring it in all the way over here. And I'm just also applying this to the outer V area over here too. Next, I'm going to go in with the shade Darling, which is this dark brown over here. I'm going to use the same brush because I love this brush. Of course, I'm starting the product on the outer corner first. And I'm just going to bring it in. So I'm taking it into the inner corner here. So I'm just going to keep deepening that crease up until I'm happy with the darkness of it. I'm taking a little bit of smitten on a clean brush and I'm just going to run over those edges. So see, once you run smitten over everything again, the transition shade, it just makes everything look nice and smooth and blended. We just want this really nice, soft crease. Pretty simple, standard, soft crease going on here. Next, I'm picking up MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot here. Taking that on a little flat concealer brush. And what we're going to do with this is carve out the lid so that we have a nice sharp crease. Just took a little bit there. Just applying that all over the lid. Kind of just blend out these edges here. All right, so now that we have a nice clean lid space, I'm gonna take Mad Love, which is this shade right over here, on a flat brush, and I'm gonna apply this on the outer V of the eye. Stick that right over here. I'm using the Zoeva Luxe Smoky Shader Brush. I'm just gonna apply that to the outer V. Let me take it into the Dose of Colors pencil brush here, just so I can really smoke along those edges. But you wanna pack it on on the outer corner. Once you get to the center here, we're just gonna lightly blend it, so just kind of dust it in this way. I'm actually going to take just a bone color from the palette and pack it over here as well. Pretty much the same tone as the eyeshadow base. I just don't want it to be all creamy over here. I'm taking a little bit of Dose of Colors pigment, and this is in shell, and I'm going to press that into the center of the lid. This could be a mistake, but we're going to go for it anyways. I'm just going to give a nice little glossy sheen. Of course, you want to blend out those edges too. So once you pack it all on and everything is pretty much off of the brush and onto your lid, just kind of wiggling around the edges so that it blends into the inner corner and the outer. Ooh, hoo, hoo. shell pigment is popping. All right, so now I'm picking up my favorite eyeliner. This is the Bobbi Brown Golden Bronze Sparkle. We're just gonna wing it out with this. I love this liquid liner because it's so easy to use. Now I'm gonna be picking up Color Pops Liner, and this is in Fry Baby. We're gonna put that in the waterline. I think I'm gonna put a little concealer on. I haven't done my foundation yet, but since we're zoomed in already, I'm just gonna put a little bit of concealer on so I can smoke out the lower lash line real quick. So I just used a little bit of my Becca Luminous Concealer in medium, just to lay down a base. Next, I'm picking up Promiscuous, and this is from the Melt Cosmetics Stack, the Love Sick Stack. And I'm gonna run that all on the lower lash line, and I'm using the Dose of Colors Pencil Brush. So I'm gonna keep building up this color on the lower lash line. So I'm gonna pick up the Mary Luminizer by The Bomb Cosmetics. It's a highlight, but I like to use this as the inner corner highlight on my eyes. All right, so to finish off the look, I'm gonna use a little mascara. This is the Maybelline one. It's the Colossal Big Shot Mascara. I'm gonna apply that to top and bottom, and then put on these uh, pretty crusty, but still wearable Queen Bee Lashes on the outer corners of the eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and be right back. For foundation, I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay Naked Skin, and this is in the shade Medium. And I'm just applying that all over with my Beauty Blender, per usual. Oh, what a difference putting on foundation makes, I feel like. I don't know, I feel like it just brings everything together, like foundation and concealer. Brightens up your face, makes everything look clean. And... Do you ever have it when you're applying your foundation and you just feel like the tiniest piece of lint somewhere on your face, but you can't see it and you're trying to get it off and you think you get it and it's just like this constant tickle? I hate when that happens. It's happening to me right now and I feel it around my nose, but I don't see it. Lip color I should do with this look right now because obviously I'd gravitate towards nude. I'm wondering if there'd be something that would look cool that's not nude. I know you guys would expect me to do nude and that's what I would expect to do, but I'm trying to change it up and do 
something else. We'll see. I'm gonna pick up my RCMA powder and set the under eye since we haven't done that yet. I'm using my Morphe E27 brush. We'll lightly sweep that under the eyes. And then I bring it down the sides of the nose and onto the apples of the cheeks here. Felt a lot more powder than I intended. There we go. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna sweep that along those areas of my face. And I feel like I need to add a little bit more of that inner corner highlight on my eyes. Like, it kind of disappeared a little. So I'm just gonna take a little bit more of that Mary Luminizer and pop it back into the inner corner. While I'm deciding the lip color, I guess I'll just start highlighting the rest of my face. So I'm also gonna put a little bit of that Mary Luminizer down the bridge of my nose here. My dot got me right now, you guys. It has me. I'm just like trying to like be, you know, myself and on camera, but sometimes the dot gets you, it gets the best of you, and you just feel so sluggish and sleepy. I've been like out of it all day. Actually, today I was on the phone with Katie, and it was so funny because <laughs> for a while she was sending me a lot of voice messages, and so I was listening to the voice mes messages back to back to back, and then she was like, actually, you know what? There's too many voice messages. Let me just call you. So. Then she called me and I'm on the phone with her and she's telling me this long story and then all of a sudden she finishes telling me the story and I just stay quiet, like I say nothing. I'm just sitting here like staring, listening, but not saying anything. And it got really silent and she was like, hello? <laughs> I forgot that I was on the phone with her. Like I thought I was listening to her voice messages and she was like, are you even there? I'm just like, no girl, I'm staring at the wall right now. Like I don't know what's happening to me. I'm so tired. It was funny because it was a story where it like demanded a reaction and I just didn't say anything. I was so out of it. Since we're here, let's go ahead and highlight the cheekbones. I used to use this highlighter every day, all day. This uh, Mary Luminizer this used to be my jam. I still love it so much. Classic highlight. I'm going to take a little bit of Kat Von D under eye brightening powder. This is in golden. And I'm just going to take the tiniest amount of this and put it on the under eyes to brighten it up just a little bit more. On the cheeks here. So anyways, just to catch up with you guys, we're meeting Katie and John in New York where we are going to be presenting for the Shorty Awards. Katie and I are presenting an award and we're also nominated. I think we're basically nominated for Best Couple is what I think. So, <laughs> so then we'll be there for the Shorty Awards. I'm so excited for that too because, I don't know, this is Katie and I's first time presenting anything. It's just going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be crazy. We're going to just jump into Hula because I've been really, really fucking with Hula heavy these days. I stopped using Matt Give Me Sun have noticed. I was breaking out a lot right here on the contours of my cheeks and my esthetician was like, it must be whatever you're putting on that area. And I was like, no, 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 no. Matt give me some would never do that to me. You know what I mean? Like we've been together for so long. I was like, well, maybe my particular bronzer was like too old. So I was like, let me buy a new one. So I could just, maybe it's like contaminated or I don't know. Let's just start fresh, right? With the new Matt give me sun. That was like my, my go-to plan. Nope. I still started breaking out there all where I put my bronzer. And so I was like, all right, I'm just going to stop using give me sun for a while. See what happens and lo and behold, I'm not getting those like little bumps. I mean, I still break out from regular breakouts, but these were like bumps like all along this area, lots and lots of bumps. So I don't know why that would be happening. I don't know if the formula changed, which I don't think it did because the one that I was even using was pretty old and then I bought a new one, it was still happening. So I don't really know what happened. That's where we're at. I'm still not 100% sure. I don't want to believe it. As of right now, I haven't been using it and I haven't been getting those bumps. What is your guys' expert opinions on this matter? It's a tragic matter. Katie's never been to Coachella. Katie and I are just going solo dolo. Sometimes you just kind of need a girl's trip, you know what I mean? We, we are going to go and be strong, independent women, and I'm sure five minutes in we're going to be like, oh shoot, we have to take our own pigs. We have no one to hang out with except ourselves. We're going to be missing the boys. So I'm going to try Moon. This has like more of those mauve undertones, like cool, slightly purple, and then I'm also going to use the lip liner with that. This is like kind of cheating because it's like nude, but it's not really. So it's more mauve shade. This is the color. I think it looks really good with the color on my eyes. Alright, so this is it. This is the finished makeup look. It's very mauve lilac-y. I ended up really loving this lip. I'm happy that I tried something different. I would never have picked up a shade like this, but now when it's dry, I actually really love the way it looks. So, pleasantly surprised for that new find for me. You know, usually I would go with like a normal nude, but I tried something different. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And like I said, if I was like a little, little drab, it's because, you know, I'm on my dot. But I tried to push through and I really like how it came out. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. And I hope you guys stick around and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Fix the top knot here. My little adjustments. Oh my gosh. The cramps. 
think I'm done. I'm tired. I think I can't sleep right now, honestly. I mean, I'm gonna be here. I'm tired. Just kidding, I'm still here.